Hey everyone, it's the Chaplain here coming to you with a quick um, recap video, if you will. I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, Lieutenant Dan and I are still playing our BB3 game, calling it Operation Mincemeat. Um, however, tomorrow I'm having a playtest, um, kind of a redo of the 4-inch challenge. If you remember way, way, way early in the channel history um, of my channel, my friend Ray and I got together and uh, it's really Ray's brainchild but he created a hex map not with hex squares but hex as in each square has uh, six relatives to it and so he, he's we're trying to normalize the map we're trying to make a game faster to play and so we actually have a play test on my table so I got to clean all this up so this is simply a unit um, disposition of forces video for all current forces through G3. Russia hasn't taken their third turn yet. Um, it's Friday night, I'm gonna pack this up. So, we're gonna start with the Canadians. There is an infantry and a tank in French Guyana. There's an infantry and artillery and a minor factory in Quebec. There is a transport in 106. And there is a naval port and airfield in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. That's it for the Canadians. Uh, next up on this side of the map, we'll go ahead and do the Americans. In central US, there's a minor factory and two bases. In eastern US, there's a minor factory and two bases. There's also an infantry, two AAA. And then in the C zone, there's a cruiser and two transports. Uh, that German is not in Iceland. Sorry. <laughs> in C Zone 88, there is a British destroyer and transport. C Zone 91, there's a British destroyer. In C Zone 83, which you can't see, is a French destroyer. And then C Zone 92 is a French destroyer and cruiser. There's a naval base in Gibraltar. There is a naval base in Argentina. All right. Um, let's start down here. You can kind of see South Africa. There's a minor factory and a naval base. There are three British infantry. Belgian Congo. There's an infantry and a tank and an air transport. In French Equatorial Africa, there's a British infantry and a French infantry. In Anglo-Egypt, Sudan, that is an Italian artillery. In Ethiopia, there are two British infantry, and we control it. Egypt is mined with a tank and a naval port. Libya is controlled by the Brits with two artillery. Uh, Tobruk, rather, Libya in Tobruk. And the French control Libya from the Italians. And they also have an infantry in Tunisia and Algeria. Uh, the Italians control Malta with an infantry and a captured AAA gun. Oh my gosh, I'm knocking stuff over. Lord help me. My kids are in the other room watching Moana. I'm over here trying to get this wrapped up, cleaned up, whatever. Season 76, the British have two cruisers, a battleship, and a transport. This is gonna take a minute. Hope you're uh, ready for that. I'm not expecting anyone to watch this, <clears throat> but if you do, cool. Uh, if you don't, that's totally okay. There is one, two, three Italian destroyers, a battleship and a transport in 96. 97 has a transport. The Italians control Southern France, which has a minor factory and a naval port all these boats um, the Italians also command Normandy Bordeaux with a tank and an artillery there's also a minor factory and a naval port there the Germans also have an infantry and artillery present so toss those over there 
Toss you over there. Excellent. Paris is German controlled with a minor factory and an airfield. Ready to go Germany. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Southern France. Uh, Southern France. <clears throat> Southern Italy has a naval port and an airfield and a minor factory. Northern Italy has a major factory. In Southern Italy, there's an infantry, a fighter, and two triple A's. In Northern Italy, there are two infantry and two triple A's. Yugoslavia is Italian controlled. Um, Greece is German controlled. Now I'm gonna toss some of these over, excuse me. Shadow, glare, whatever you might be getting. I'll fix that in a minute. Okay. Um, the French still have a unit in Syria. Uh, in infantry, that was. Sorry. <clears throat> the British control eastern Iran with four infantry, a fighter, and a tactical bomber. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pick up my oil here. That'll help me out. All right, here we go. Holland, Belgium. There's a German infantry, artillery, and AAA. Sounds like my daughter smacking the uh, <laughs> rocking chair on the other side of that wall. All right. The French have two infantry and a fighter in London. Yes, sweetheart, I hear you. You're not forgotten about, babe. I'm, I'm right here. The Canadians, my bad, have two infantry still in Scotland. Yes, sweetheart, I hear you. London itself has one, two, three infantry, a mechanized, a strategic bomber, two fighters, and one, two three, four, five triple A's, as well as a major factory and an air naval base. Scotland has an air base. This is exhilarating. But, well, not really. It's fun packing up. It's fun setting up. It's fun playing. But again, I'm not expecting anyone to watch through the entirety of this video. This is more for me later. Um, Bulgaria, can't see it, my bad. Bulgaria is German controlled with no Germans in it. So get rid of that. The Russians have a lone sub in 125, as well as a cruiser and a sub in 115. I get to roll convoy later. Um, he forgot it in G3, no big deal. Two German infantry in Norway, one German infantry in Finland. One Russian infantry in Viborg. Five German infantry in Karelia. Yes. He's pushing in really, really aggressively here. The Russians are not losing hope, but uh, he's definitely kind of kicking my butt. Western Germany is empty, but it has a major and an air naval. Berlin has a major with seven tanks. Now, we're in G3, right? getting ready to do R3. Um, and he's got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 tanks Germany has on the board. I would guess his tech is heavy tanks, but he hasn't advanced his tech at all. So even if he does, I'm not overly concerned. There are two German infantry in Slovakia, Hungary, as well as two Italian fighters. Excuse me. Um, Leningrad has a minor, an air, and a naval, as well as one, two, three, six, eleven infantry, one tank, two AAA, and two artillery. Oh, oh gosh, I just have to fix all this later. This is a mess. Russians also have a mech and archangel. Thank you, Lend Lease. Russians have an infantry in Moscow, which also has a major and an airfield. What do 
once I'm done with my play test tomorrow, I get to clean all this, uh, clean that one up and then put all this back on. Um, just all my little extra stuff here. You guys know how lucky I am to have what I have? Like, I'm not trying to fluff anyone's ego here, but I really am, uh, gracious, or gracious, I really am grateful for what I have right now. You know, the pieces I have, the, the extras I have, you know, like these little iron ore deposit looking things, this beautiful map itself even, um, I'm just grateful. All right, there's a Russian infantry, we'll just do the easy ones, Russian infantry in Caucasus, three Russian infantry in Stalingrad with a minor, two Russian tanks in Rostov with a minor, Ukraine has a tank, a tactical, three infantry, two fighters. Oh, golly darn. Whew. Said I was gonna try to do this quickly, it's taking forever. Western Ukraine, German controlled with a tank. Bessarabia, German controlled with three tanks. Romania, <coughs> excuse me. German artillery, three German fighters, four German tacticals, four German infantry, and a strat bomber. The Italians have five infantry and two artillery. Put those up there, put those over there. I'll take care of that in a sec. Let's get these chips out of here. Chippy, chippy. Whew, man. Golly. All right. Um, Baltic states, there's two... German artillery, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 infantry and a triple A, German controlled. And then Eastern Poland, German controlled, two infantry, two triple A, and two, four, six, seven tanks. Good night, Dan. All right, keep chugging along, keep chugging along. India has an Anzac fighter. Major complex, naval base and air base. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, nine British infantry. British tank. One, two, three, triple A's, and a fighter. Burma, one infantry. Hong Kong, two infantry. British and a naval port. Um, it is the week of Thanksgiving, right? It was just yesterday, and so I, I felt it necessary to go ahead and say thanks again. Um, Hambone gave me this beautiful map um, at our Labor Day event I hosted um, a small event in the St. Louis area and we had 15 players on three tables scheduled and we ended up having 10 players on two tables still a great event all right continuing on UK control or not UK the Aussies control Sumatra with an infantry um, and a transport there's an Aussie in Malaya there's a naval base in Malaya Three Brit infantry. C zone 37 has a uh, British destroyer. What else can you see in the frame here? China has a fighter in Kansu. And then in Suyuan, there's three cavalry. And let's just count them out one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sweet. 17 infantry. Um, look at these sculpts. Pagan sent me these, among other things. That dude. Talk about generous. I love this community, man. It's so great. Look at all these cool sculpts. I took my out-of-box Chinese and I was gonna repurpose them for neutrals, um, but I don't have to because in the collection of what he sent me were the Dutch neutrals that everyone likes to use. So 
focus in on that camera. Thanks. All right, so that was it for the Chinese. Uh, Mongolia has not been activated, so I'm just gonna scoot those out of the way. The J Japanese control so much. Uh, we'll do Siam here at the bottom of your screen to infantry. I'm gonna bring this down so it's a little easier later. Two infantry in Siam, one infantry in Sichuan. In Guangxi, one, two infantry, two artillery. Oh my gosh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fighters, and one, two, three, four, five, six tacticals. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, chips, get out of here. Hunan, two infantry and an artillery. Yunnan, three artillery. Mech, tank. One, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infantry. Kui Chao, one infantry. Hope, one infantry. Jehol, Japanese controlled. Shantung, Japanese controlled. Kiang Si, Japanese controlled infantry and artillery. In Shanghai, they have a fighter and two tanks and a miner. In Anhui, there's a tactical, two strategic, three infantry, and an artillery. In Chahar, two infantry, one artillery, and one fighter. I don't know what this guy's doing here, honestly. I'm so sorry. Dan, if there's anything wrong, I'll just rewatch your Japan video before I set up, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, season 20 has a transport. Season 19 has two transports. There's still an airbase on Okinawa. You haven't used any of your kamikaze. Season 6 has a transport. Season 4, I don't know if you can see that up here or not. Lean it back. Season 4 over there had a Jap sub. Oh my gosh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Lord help me. All right, the big mess in 36. <clears throat> he has a sub, two transports, two battleships, two cruisers, four destroyers, two empty carriers, and one carrier with a fighter and a tactical. Very nice Japan. All right. And then Manchuria, you have two fighters. One, two, three, four, five, eleven infantry, and a triple A. <clears throat> Russians have two triple A, and one, two, twelve, seventeen infantry, and a MER. Those go down here. Japan itself, still in frame, kind of, no. Sorry. <clears throat> Japan itself, one, two, three, four, five infantry, one artillery, three triple A's, a major, and an air naval. Oh. Man, they don't tell you about getting old when you're young. They wait until you're in your 30s tell you about all the lower back pain. The next time I build a table, <coughs> I'm gonna build it higher. Like, cause right now this is sitting on my old kitchen table, right? With some storage. My wife's like, hey, put those totes under there. So it's, you know, my, my comfortable hand height for not having to bend over is still about eight inches nine inches higher than the stable, so <laughs> gotta fix that. In the Palau Islands, there's still Japanese infantry. In Caroline Islands, there's two infantry and a triple-A gun, air base, naval base. All right, coming up.
and down to the wire, friend. Dutch New Guinea, Aussie controlled with an infantry. In the Philippines, still same initial setup for the Americans. Uh, destroyer and sub in the sea zone, two infantry and a fighter, air and naval base. Air base in Guam, air base in Midway, air base in Wake. All right, those are all taken care of. Those are all taken care of. Uh, America has Miner Factory, two subs, and a destroyer in C-Zone 2. Uh, the Miner Factory was in uh, Alaska. Make sure it's still in frame, Bob. So my name is Robert, <clears throat> but as a kid, my family called me Bobby. And then growing up, you know, people at church, people at school, called me Bobby, no big deal, until about middle school. I was like, you know what, Bobby's kind of lame. I don't know if I want that name. So I started going by Robbie in eighth grade. <laughs> that was stupid. Not that if you have that name, you're stupid. I just, it was stupid for me. I didn't like it at all. Um, but anyway, um, I got to college. And I'm like, all right, I need to be Rob. So I go by Rob. Most people call me Rob. But if you ever hear me call myself Bob, it's just because I'm familiar with myself. So I digress. Uh, <laughs> C-Zone 10 has two transports. <clears throat> uh, Western US, two triple A's. Two infantry, three mechanized, tank, artillery, minor, air naval. <coughs> like I said, my kids are watching Moana in the other room. And so they're at the shiny part where Jermaine Clement's character, Tamatoa, is singing about how shiny he likes to be. One of my son's favorite lines is, Maui, it's time to kick your hiney. He loves it, it's great. Um, all right, on the island of Hawaii, there are two air transports, the naval base. There are three, four, five, six, seven infantry, artillery and a mech, and two fighters on the island. <clears throat> In the sea zone, battleship, two cruisers, two transports, a sub, two destroyers, and two fully loaded carriers with one tactical and three fighters. All right, we're down to the home stretch, folks. The Australians have an air naval base and infantry in New Zealand. Um, 54 has a cruiser and a destroyer. Ballin'. In Queensland, there's two infantry, one artillery, two fighters, and an air naval base. In Sydney, there's a naval base and a minor factory, as well as one, two, three infantry, two triple A's, and a fighter. Now, as far as everyone's money is concerned, Dan keeps track of his money, I keep track of my money. The Americans have 10, Some of this is it's split up sometimes because I like to try to imagine what I'm gonna purchase. So that's 30, 40, 54. US has 54 to spend. The Canadians have uh, 17 to spend. The Chinese have five. <clears throat> Anzac has 15. Yep, 15. The UK has 10, 20, 30, 44 to spend. Um, minus six for Russia, US, and UK because Dano rolled sixes. I'm sorry if I, Dan, I said Dano, my bad. Dan, Lieutenant Dan rolled sixes for all three of my texts. So uh, Russia has 35, 39. And again, those are all going to be minus six. But anyway, that's it. That's the end of this video. Praise the Lord. Um, as soon as I'm done with my playtest of the hex normalized map, <clears throat> uh, the second phase of the four inch challenge, I will set this back up, but I won't make a video on it. I'll just set it up and make my Russia three video. I'm the chaplain. I'll be praying for you.